Okay, here's the Black Series Guavian Enforcer 6 inch figure. I've reviewed the 3.75 inch version, but this is the larger version with slightly more articulation and more, far more detailing. Great looking figure. There's the box art. Got this on Friday at uh, Toys R Us. It's about £22 in the UK. Quite expensive. But it's a great looking figure. And the head just looks amazing. Comes with that weapon there. This is like a sort of shotgun. And then this blaster there. Which looks pretty amazing there. And it looks pretty cool. So Star Wars the Black Series. Guavian Enforcer. Number 8 in the series. Number 8. Guavian Enforcer. Executor. The security soldiers of the Gravian gang wear high impact armor that makes them stand out among other deadly criminals. And then you've got all the warnings in European languages. It's a picture there. Number eight. You can see the gun there. Great looking figure. Gravian enforcer. Okay. Every single arc lamp had been turned. He threw the gun down and stood there waiting. Okay, here's a better look at the Gravian Enforcer. You can see his weapon there, it looks pretty cool. The heads, the detailing around that red middle bit and the silver just looks amazing. Lovely detailing on the body with the sort of reddish black highlights on the body. The pouches look amazing. What a cool looking figure, Gravian Enforcer. And. Looks amazing. Lovely detailing there. So this looks like a, like a really cool figure. There's the back of the figure. Let's take him out of the package. Okay, this is the Gravian Enforcer 6 inch Black Series Star Wars The Force Awakens figure. And you can see that he comes with two weapons. One looks like a bit like a shotgun. Just about fits into this hand. Uh, with the stock bending a little bit. The detail on the helmet is good. He's got great root range of movement on the head. You can swivel up and down, left and right. Gun has nice highlights on it, this one here. And he holds it well with this hand. He can swivel his elbows up to this much and his arms go up this high and swivel around. Torso cr crunches or can twist a bit but not it's not really a crunch though but you can twist though as you can see you can twist it back and then you can move the head up and down that much forward and then all the way back you can see the neck twist the head as well there you go that's the great detailing on this figure. And then it's got a lot of uh, this sort of uh, equipment on it around his mid torso. He's got this wire on his knee. The legs, the lower legs, certainly feel a bit rubbery and a bit flimsy, but they have good rotation at the ankles. The legs do move, but a bit stiff. Feel a bit fragile, really. The upper thigh movement is really limited. Can move forward about that much. And there's no... These do not swivel at all, unless they're so stiff. But overall, this is a great-looking figure. It will display really well. I love this head detail there. It just looks amazing. I think the design is just amazing. And the bodywork just looks amazing. The red and black highlights. Beautiful. A great looking figure. I like the little figure, the 3.75 figure, and this one's just as good, if not better. And there's the two weapons. You can see it's bending there. So there must be a way of sorting that out and then there's this gun as well 
Sin turned the car. It was blank. And you can oh. push it down. Sin's voice was high pitched. Somewhere Two weapons. And a scream. You're nice joking. detailing there. Bond what a great looking right. figure. Guavian Enforcer. See the two weapons there, better look at them, back of the helmet, the texturing on the costume, look at that, and especially in the back, it's got like almost like um printed circuit board patterning on it, on the back of the costume, and more detailing there on the back side, and you know, just lovely detail here. These two joints here, this bit here and that bit there are rather flimsy though, the detailing on the back of the boots, really nice. So this figure is great for display, a bit lacking in articulation, but still, it just looks so cool. The helmet just looks amazing. And look at the detailing there, just top notch. Look at that. What a cool looking figure. And on the minifigure, these two pouches are not painted. I mean, the two red circles are not painted. It's got a bit of paint detail on his wrist there. It looks pretty cool. See what it's got on this one. Nothing. But lots of armor detail. The Guavian Enforcer. He's from The Force Awakens. And I got him on Thursday. £10 at Toys R Us Whiteley's. Looks pretty amazing. Lots of reviews of him in the 6 inch size. But this is the uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch figure great detail on this figure even though he's got limited articulation comes with that blaster there and you know the sculpting on this figure is top notch good look at the head there comes with that combiner piece there great artwork on the card guavian enforcer <laughs> obviously named after the fruit the guava figure looks amazing though red outfit with a sort of leverish look to it and the helmet that just looks amazing quite detailed for that, that scale and got tubing on his leg there and the boots great figure Guavian Enforcer new figure 3 and 3 quarter 3 and 7.5 inches and let's look at the back of the box. Gravian Enforcer. The security soldiers of the Gravian gang wear high impact armor that makes them stand out among the other deadly criminals. You can get the Inquisitor, First Order General Hox, and Gravian Enforcer to make this thing there. Okay, so that's your Gravian Enforcer. Nice figure. Looks pretty amazing. So we can get a good look at the gun there. Looks amazing. Okay, so it's your Guavian Enforcer. Three and three quarter inch figure. Looks nice, man. Hasbro, Disney, Force Awakens, new figure. Coming first in the UK and then to the rest of the world. Okay, cheers, bye. So I think it's a really good figure. I'd recommend getting this one. If you're a Star Wars fan or just like freaky looking figures, then you can't go wrong with this one. You get two weapons, amazing design on this costume. Everyone says it looks a bit like Deadpool or a Cobra soldier from, um, what do you call it? Um, G.I. Joe. But it's got such lovely detail. I mean, I love the costume and the wash on it and the helmet design just looks amazing those circuits there just look top notch and there's a you know I love the scar on the top of the helmet whether these are humans or cyborgs or some alien race we're ne we'd, we'll have to wait till we see the movie but it's a great looking figure highly recommended this one even though there's a few faults with the legs not moving that much and 
being a bit flimsy at the lower end, but this figure just looks top notch. Guavin Enforcer, named after an exotic fruit, it seems. Okay, look at the detail. Cool, cool, cool. Guavin Enforcer, six inch black series, The Force Awakens, top notch. Okay, so cheers. Have a last look at the weapons. That's the sort of shotgun weapon. A little bit of silver highlights on it. And then here's the main blaster. A weapon like this comes with the action figure as well, the 3.75 action figure. I think this one's the better looking weapon. Okay, so there are the two weapons. There's the figure. And that's it. Guavian Enforcer. Six inch black series. Nice looking figure. His head cool. broke the surface. As the rest of his body emerged, Bond lay there, breathing nice in looking figure air. with great details. Then he went to find Jeopardy. All right. So cheers. Bye. So I put him back in his packaging, looks great. The good thing about this Black Series is you can open them up and then put them back in the box or keep the box somewhere nearby and just, you know, when you've had enough of the figure on display, just put them back in the box. So that's your Black Series Guavin Enforcer. Here's the box again. Star Wars Black Series. Number eight, Gravin Enforcer. The break in the fence nice looking figure. With wire was exactly where it. I'll show you the, the, um, the 3.75 figure after this as well. Okay, so cheers, bye. A lone motorcyclist appeared, rattling to a halt. Bond recognised the 650cc railway line stretching from one end to the other. Sin came to the end of his peroration, and the group moved towards a waiting train. Bond recognised it at once. The R11 cars, built at the end of the 40s, were among the most beautiful that had ever been rolled out on the New York City subway. A series of short steel pillars surrounded a load covered in tarpaulin. It was the fake Vanguard, attached to another R11 car which contained the bomb. There was another car right behind it, and this was where the rest of Sin's men would run. Finally, at the back, there was an empty car and a second engine. Bond quickly worked it out. Sin would ride into the tunnel. His men would arm the bomb and uncouple the car that contained it. Then they travel back the way they'd come, leaving a scene of devastation behind them. Bond made a cold-blooded assessment of the situation. There were 40 minutes until the launch of the real vanguard at Wallops Island. If he didn't stay rescheduled, it would kill him instantly. He forced himself on. But the train was accelerating away. Bond came to a stumbling halt. It was hopeless. Sin had got away. Then the next one is the Guavian Enforcer. This is a figure I really like. I think he looks amazing. Look at the detailing on the head there. It's got a little bit of paint detail on the, the circle bit where it looks like it's been scratched. And the detailing on the helmet. Look at the intricate circuitry there. It looks pretty cool. The armor on his shoulders that's amazing. The nice sort of work they've done on the chest with the red sort of padded armor or bodysuit, that looks amazing. There's his weapon. He comes with this piece of combiner equipment, but the figure itself just looks amazing. So I really like this one. Gravian Enforcer. Just looks so cool. Yeah. Looks amazing. Looks like something from G.I. Joe, like the Cobra Army. But now he's part of Star Wars, you know. He's got two circles on his pouches there, but they're not painted. You can see it's painted there on the artwork. But this is a great figure. I'm sure it'll be pretty popular. It's also the Black Series 6 inch version of this figure. It looks pretty cool as well. You can see the amazing detail on the head. 
circuits around his helmet. Looks pretty cool. What a top figure. Yeah, nice. This is the Guardian Enforcer. Okay. But I think I like the one. Another look at the six inch Guardian Enforcer Black Series. What a cool figure. This looks amazing. See all the lovely detailing. Grey boots. The wire in the leg. The cool blasters he comes with. Great head sculpt. Look at the detailing on that. This figure just rocks. Amazing figure. Guardian Enforcer. Black Series 6 inch figure. Um, maybe not perfect articulation but still a really cool figure. Comes with a really nice blaster. Just so much detailing. Lovely work on the body with the colouring, the reddish and with the black wash over it. Just looks amazing. And then the head there just looks amazing. With that wiring mesh work and this red circle. Just such a cool figure. Okay, so that's your Guavian Enforcer. Black series, six inch figure. Just looks the dog's bollocks. Okay, cool looking figure. Okay, I've just had my operation on my arm. I've just had my the metal taken out of my elbow and it really hurts, man. Far worse than when I had the metal put in. So I could do with a wire there. So I'm just coming off the morphine this morning. Feel really tired, got a lot of painkillers, you know, pains just so much, but you know. And there's the back of the figure inside the packaging. Cool looking figure, Gravian Enforcer, six inch. Okay, cheers, bye.